uh, the fighters that have fought for Gold Boy are not signed to Gold Boy contracts, but are signed to even managerial no, contracts. No, look, I, I have I have nothing against Floyd, other than he's beaten about <laughs> five or six of my guys, including myself. But that's nothing personal. I mean, this is a business, and I understand what Floyd is saying. Look, I mean, this is the fight game. Okay, you beat my guys. Okay, well. Hopefully I have the guy that's going to beat you. I mean, that's the name of the game. Um, there's nothing personal there. Al Heyman, I've never, ever, not once, disrespected at all. So he knows that. It's like I said, nobody talks for me. And I'm sure nobody talks for Al Heyman. Um, but this is a business. And all business aside, I talk to Bob Allen. And... And there is nothing wrong with that. Because Bob Arum was my promoter for many years. And he helped me build my career to, to, to what it was. And, and, and I'm grateful for that. You know? And so our meeting was nothing to do with business. Our meeting was just uh, you know, to, uh, to bury the hatchet. To... Uh, discuss the old times, uh, the great stories we, we share together, and that's it. But it doesn't necessarily mean that down the road, down the line, we can have another meeting. And maybe it will be based on, on business. Who knows? But right now, I, I'm glad I can, I can you know, uh, uh, lay my head on the pillow and, and rest that night knowing that I, I, I apologized to Bob for what I had said in the press about him, which was very disrespectful in my part, and then we move on. So, as long as we're moving forward, that's, that's what it's all about for me. You, obviously, you've never been one to have a supporting role in anything you do, but if the picture is painted that Schaefer has the connections with, with Al and with Mayweather and people like that, if it stayed that way, do you really think long term you and Schaefer can do business for years and years to come? Or do you think it's inevitable that it, look, there has to be a break? Look, the bottom line is, is that Schaefer's the CEO of Golden Boy Promotions. Like he said, he's making fights. Great. He's making fights happen. He's doing his job. And that's what he should be doing. I can't, I can't predict the future. I cannot say what he wants to do in the future. I, can, I, I, I don't think for him. So. Right now, he's the CEO of the company of Golden Boy Promotions, and he's making fights happen, which which he should. Oscar, did you not bring Richard Schaefer on board? Did I not bring Schaefer on board? Initially. In other words. Oh, of course. Absolutely. And aren't you the president of the company? Of course I am. I'm, I'm look, he, the CEO of the company, okay, um, is, is in charge of the company. You know, yes, I am the majority shareholder of the company. Absolutely. And I'm the president of the company. But the CEO has obligations and duties to run the company, to run Golden Boy Promotions. And, uh, and right now, Richard is running Golden Boy Promotions as the CEO of the company. And yet, but yes, to answer your question, I did bring him along. You know, he did learn the game from me. You know, we, we, we are a team. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Oscar. Um, okay. Oscar, uh, Good to see you again, Oscar, and uh, I'm glad you're back to see you again. Thank you. Uh, it's good to be back. Do you, looking back with uh, the whole, there, you kind of wish that maybe you could have, uh, you know, you could have maybe met with Aaron sooner, or do you feel like this was the right time to sort of bridge the gap and patch up things that maybe you and Aaron didn't agree on, or past differences? Well, look, I mean, the, the bottom line is, Bottom line is, is that I was not well, okay? That's the bottom line, I was not well, okay? I got caught up with stuff, and I was down and out. I really was, 
So I decided to get back up, okay? To fight for me, to fight for my family, to fight for boxing, for the sport that I dearly love. This is the sport that I love that gave me everything I have. So I decide to get back up. Well, I'm here now. You can't take me out anymore. That's it. I'm here. You know, and I have my vision and I have my plans. And nobody's going to stop me from doing that. I can assure you that. That's for sure. So, you know, I mean, the Golden Boy, the company's named Golden Boy for a reason. You know, I mean, this is the, you know, this is the fight of my life right now. I love it. I can fight. I can win. Let me, let me just say a few things in Spanish, okay? Miren, yo, yo estoy aquí nomás para decir que, que primeramente estoy contento y agradecido de estar aquí, ok? Todos los rumores, este, especulaciones. Mira, la compañía Golden Web Promotions ahora, Richard Schaefer, es el encargado. Él está trabajando todos los días haciendo peleas, eh, buenas peleas, obviamente con mi ayuda eh, eh, mía y los matchmakers, lo que es el Eric Gómez, Roberto eh, Díaz, este, pero somos un equipo y hay contratos, tenemos contratos como compañía y estos rumores solamente son rumores, nadie habla por mí. Así que le estoy diciendo yo ahora que Golden Boy va a seguir más fuerte que nunca. Porque ahora estoy aquí. Oscar sigue en la pelea. Yo estoy aquí peleando. Claro que sí. Sí, yo, yo voy a estar ahí en la pelea. Claro que sí. Si se va a hacer la pelea de la noche, si está confirmada, la pelea de la noche a partir del problema igual. Sí, la pelea va, claro que sí, la pelea sí va. Sí, mi abuelo va a combatir con, con Grand Clubs y, y Maidana va a competir con, con Everlast. Con Everlast. Can, can you repeat that in English, Oscar? Yes, yes, the Everlast, Everlast Clubs, which I believe have the, the, the padding and the horsehair. You know, so, yeah, that's the, that's the, the glove that was, that was approved by the, the, the Nevada Commission. Oscar. The fight of my life? Life! You don't know what happened to me. I mean, it's not a secret. No, there's no fight. I just have to, I just have to lace up the gloves and, 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 and put up my dukes, that's it. I don't have to throw punches. You know, this company was built. This company was built and named Golden Boy for a reason, you know? And we're working day out, day, uh, day in and day out, and we're going to continue to build. We're going to continue to sign fighters and build this company to what I believe, uh, 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 you know, its potential. Can, you know, I believe that this this company, Golden Boy Promotions, uh, hasn't even scratched the surface. You know, and everything just happens for a reason. What happened to me happened for a reason. I'm just glad that I can be that example and show the world that I didn't stay down and knocked out. I don't want to be a statistic. Not me. I, I, now I want to be the golden boy, the real golden boy. Oscar, 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 are you Absolutely. optimistic? Oscar, are you optimistic that your vision will include uh, Richard as the CEO of the U.S. President as you guys have worked in the past. So you have to I, I would like to think so. I have nothing against Richard. But I have to look out for myself. I have to look out for my company. I have to look out for boxing. When I started this company, I wanted to look out for <laughs> boxing. Boxing is my sport that I love. This is a sport that, 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 that gave me everything that I have. Sí, estamos eh, obviamente bien, bien orgullosos y contentos de ser parte de la carrera del Canelo, así que va a estar peleando con Lara. Y es, es una promoción que vamos a anunciar en, en 